when we sit down, we don't only just talk about boxing. You know, he looked at me as his son. You know, he gave me game on, you know, life period. Tank Davis goes into details on his long relationship with Floyd Mayweather. The cars, the jewelry, all of that. We are gonna talk about it in this video, but before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button and sub to the channel if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And just remember, support the channel, the like button is free. What's happening with y'all once again? Looks like we got a new face of boxing in his name is Tank Davis, Javante Tank Davis. And from what I'm hearing, man, that man just put up Floyd Mayweather type pay-per-view numbers. And we got to give credit to Ryan Garcia too, because you definitely have to have the right dance partner. And TMT Promotions, they the ones that put this play together. This play been worked on for years and years. Um, Larry Ellaby, Floyd Mayweather, they've been telling you for years that they wanted Ryan Garcia for Javante Davis. This is a play that they put together and it was well thought out. And it looks like by what they report in the pay-per-view numbers did, 1.3, 1.4 million. Yeah, it looks like what they've been planning out, it worked. You know what I'm talking about? The blueprint for Javante Tank Davis, it worked. The we got a plan for Javante Tank Davis, it worked. Because that man is doing Floyd Mayweather numbers. Canelo ain't doing numbers like this. Nobody in boxing is doing numbers like this. And, you know, like I said, you got to take your hat off to Tank for listening, for following the blueprint, for getting all these victories in the ring and doing it by knockouts. You know what I'm saying? Getting all these knockouts. And you also got to take your hat off to guys like Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby and Al Heyman, you know, for just being genius and knowing how to build a superstar, knowing how to get that bag. At the end of the day, you know, whether you like who he's fighting or you don't, they know how to get to that bag. You know what I'm talking about? And Floyd always say, hey, you can't do nothing with trophies and belts. At the end of the day, trophies and belts ain't going to feed my family. And I could dig it, you know what I'm saying? As a fan, I don't like the way that they move all the time. But like as a businessman, I could definitely dig it. But everybody be wanting to know, like what's going on with Javante Davis and Floyd Mayweather? We thought they was beefing. Now it looked like that they cool again. Um, when we seen the Hector Garcia fight, you didn't see Floyd Mayweather around at all. Then Floyd Mayweather held a press conference on the same day that I believe it was Roly and Javante Davis had a press conference. So Floyd, it looked like that he be doing some shysty type stuff when it come to Tank Davis. And Tank, he didn't got on Twitter and he didn't call Floyd out on some of that stuff. He didn't clown on Floyd. So they got a weird relationship. You know what I'm saying? They got a real relationship. And I always told people it's kind of like a father-son type of relationship. You know, uh, when a son fall out with his father and they don't really be messing with each other, but they really deep down love each other. That's kind of like the vibe that I always got with Floyd and Tank Davis. Because, you know, Floyd took Tank under his wing when he was young in the game. You know what I'm saying? Tank was probably like 19, 20 when he took him under his wing. And you could tell that Javante Davis has adapted a lot of Floyd Mayweather ways of thinking. You know, by the way that he moves um, in the boxing business, by who he chooses to fight. A lot of people be like, you know, he only want to fight Mexicans. And that's all the plan. That's all the plan. And we see Mayweather do the same thing. And Leonard Ellaby, that's all he talks about. So they move very, very strategically, but they get into the bag. And we see, you know, with this Ryan Garcia um, fight that they put on, it was kind of genius. You know, the way that they promoted it, basically promoting it for the younger crowd, the TikTok and the Instagram and all of that, because that's where boxing lives now on YouTube. And yeah, it, it was a genius plan. But Floyd Mayweather and Javante Davis, they've had a past. You know, we know that. They've got into it. They've been best of friends. But Javante Davis, in the interview that he did a while back, you know, he talked about how he signed with Floyd Mayweather. He talked about what went on even before he signed with Floyd Mayweather. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the audio clip on what he had to say about his relationship with Floyd Mayweather. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. Yeah, he, I mean, when we sit down, we don't only just talk about boxing. You know, he looked at me as his son. 
You know, he give me game on, you know, life period. You know, sometimes I get, I'm young, I still want to move at a fast pace. So sometimes he tell me to slow down and things like that. Things will come, you know, along the time. Just stay focused and build your team. Make right decisions. We, uh, I asked was what for for the whole summer before I signed with him. You know, before I even, you know, sign anything on paper. He already bought me cars, he bought me jewelry and things like that. So yeah, I was already out with him living the life, riding on boats and things like that. So yeah, he bought me watches, jewelry, like cars, okay. 60,000 out of cars. Okay. So there you heard it. You know, Tank said that Floyd was buying them watches, jewelry, cars, taking them on yachts, you know, letting them see all the women, just doing big boy type of shit before he was ever signed with TMT Promotions. And Floyd, you know, he's smart. He was showing Tank an extravagant lifestyle, letting him know you can have all of this. All of this could be yours more and more, you know what I'm saying, more than you could ever get enough of if you come and sign with TMT Promotions. All you got to do is sign your name on the dotted line with TMT Promotions. And Floyd, you know what I'm saying, ain't nothing to him anyway. Buying 80, 90, 100,000, $60,000 cars, expensive jewelry, taking them on yachts, all of that ain't nothing to Floyd because he got so much money. So he was showing them, look, hey, I'm going to give you all of this. But don't think Floyd a dummy because he got all of that back and son from Tank Davis. You know what I'm talking about? That's why they was always so careful with how they moved Javante Davis throughout his whole career. Because Floyd had so much money that he had invested in Tank even before Javante ever signed with the TMT promotions. You know what I'm talking about? Buying them cars and jewelry and, and you know, just all that lavish, extravagant stuff that he was showing Tank. A young man like Tank coming from nothing, he like, man, where I sign at? Where do I sign? But see, y'all got to think about this. Remember when Tank, he got on Twitter and he said, why would you let a young kid sign a contract like this? When he was saying the lawyer for TMT Promotions or whatever, it's a dirty game because you seeing all these cars, juries and all of that. But hey, you know what I'm saying? All you thinking about is where I sign. You ain't thinking about reading through the contract. You ain't thinking about nothing, but where do I sign? So a lot of people going to look at that or hear this and be like, yeah, Floyd Dirty. We see what he was trying to do. But I just look at it as, you know, it's business. You know what I'm talking about? It's business. But Javante Davis signing with Floyd Mayweather, it was the best thing that he ever could have done. Because I don't think that he would be as big as he is if he hadn't signed with Floyd Mayweather. Because Floyd has such a big following. And being able to pass that on to Javante Davis, pass that down to him. That did a lot for Tank's career. You know what I'm talking about? So, when you see Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby all in the camera when it's the biggest fight of Javante Davis's career, and all of a sudden, they back on the scene. You know what I'm talking about? They back promoting the fight because they was one of the lead promoters for the Ryan Garcia fight with TGB Promotions. You know, hey, Floyd is like, hey, we built him. We built him. And a lot of people feel like, hey, once they put all that money and effort into you, they own you. And that's what Floyd was essentially doing. Giving him all that jewelry and, and cars and all of that, right? Trying to own him. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make him sign that dotted line because once he signed that dotted line, he know he got him. So with all that being said, Javante Davis is going to continue to do business with TMT Promotions. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know what the contract looked like. I've said it several times, but he ain't going nowhere. He's going to be a Floyd Mayweather fighter for probably for the rest of his career. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody was all excited thinking that he was on his own. He was going to do his own thing. Nah, he going to be with Floyd. And like I said, man, um, he's gaining a lot. And Floyd is gaining a lot. Leonard Ellaby is gaining a lot. It's not like it's all one person is taking everything and the other one ain't getting nothing out of it yet. I think it's a 50-50 situation with them. You know what I'm saying? They all gain it. Now, Javante Davis is the face of boxing. 
And they did what they said they was going to do for Tank. He got a lot, a lot of money. He got a shitload of money. But they did what they promised him. Now, all I want to see from Tank, it's time to fight the best. You are the face of boxing. You've shown everybody that you can get to that bag. You can sell out arenas. Now you got to fight the best fighters in your division. That's all I'm asking as a fan. But I understand how they move. I understand the, we got a plan for Tank Davis. You know, uh, Tank Davis, you don't need to worry about none of these other guys. Uh, we got the blueprint for Tank. We saw it play out. You know what I'm saying? The blueprint. You know what I'm talking about? We've been wondering what the plan and what the blueprint was for many, many years. And we got to see it play out. Now it's time to take it to the next level and fight the best of the best. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. How y'all feel about this. Drop a comment in the comment section. I want to hear from y'all. And remember, don't forget to hit my like button. There you go talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.